I know how scary the words, you need a new logic board can be. Now you're thinking, where can I get my iPhone 4 recycled properly? Or can I sell my iPhone 4 for parts? I have an option number three, fix it. You can do it, let's do it together. Hey, it's Gwendolyn with iFixit, and today I'm gonna walk you through replacing the logic board in your iPhone 4. Remember, this is just an overview, so be sure to check out our step-by-step -step guides when you do your repair. If you're working on a Verizon phone, your repair is gonna be slightly different, so make sure you're checking out the right guide for the right phone you're working on. For this repair, you're going to need an iPhone five-point pentalobe screwdriver if your phone has external pentalobe screws, a Phillips triple zero screwdriver if your phone has external Phillips screws, an iPhone semi-jack tool, or you could use a paper clip, a Phillips double zero screwdriver, plastic opening tools, 2.5 millimeter flathead screwdriver, and a spudger. I have all the parts and tools I need in my ProTech toolkit, and it's not listed on the repair guide, but I never do a repair without my magnetic mat. Again, it's magnetic, so none of those little parts will roll away, and it keeps me organized. So let's get started. First, make sure your phone is turned off, and then you're gonna remove the two screws at the bottom near the dock connector. Okay, with those screws out, now we're gonna take off the back panel. And to do that, you're just gonna push with both thumbs up, and it should come apart like that. And then we can just take it off. Now we can get the battery off. And to do that, we're just gonna get our Phillips driver and unscrew the one screw that's holding on the battery connector. Now we can use our opening tool to pry off the battery connector. And while you're down there, remove the contact clip. Now we can use this tab to get the battery out. And if you're having a little trouble, you can use your opening tool. Now we can take out the SIM card. And to do that, we're gonna use our little SIM ejector tool and we're gonna poke that in the hole right here on the side and it pops right out. Here we go. Now we can remove the two Phillips screws that are holding on the dock connector bracket. Now that we have those screws off, we can take the bracket off with our fingers and then we can disconnect that cable from the logic board with your opening tool. With that unstuck, we're gonna use the pointy end of our spudger to disconnect the antenna cable right here. Now we can remove six screws that are holding the logic board to the rear case. There's one at the bottom and there are five at the top. And with those screws out, now we can take off the bracket with our fingers and get to work on the rear facing camera. And to do that, I'm just gonna use my spudger. We're gonna pry up that cable and set it aside. Now that the camera's out, we have one screw in the middle of the logic board that's near the pull tab for the battery. If there's a sticker covering it, go ahead and take that off first and then get to work removing the screw. Now we can use the flat end of our spudger to disconnect the five cables at the top of the board. Now that all those cables are disconnected, we can attack the last standoff screw with our flat head screwdriver. And that is the last screw. Now we can get our logic board out, but be sure that you're not gonna tear any of these cables that we disconnected earlier. And on reassembly, make sure this tiny antenna at the bottom is not underneath the logic board. Now you can slip in your new logic board and work backwards on our step-by-step -step guide to reassemble your phone. You can find all the parts and tools you need for this and many other repairs at ifixit.com. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on all our latest teardowns and repair videos. You can follow us on Twitter at ifixit and give us a like on Facebook at facebook.com ifixit.